I know when I began to start my healing process, I had a lot of uh, panic attacks. When I was starting to set boundaries or starting to do things that were good for myself, um, you know, fear out of what was that person gonna do to me. And then also just, even when I was just doing something for myself, I had panic attacks of, I'm doing it wrong because it, that voice is still in my head that I'm just, you know, worthless. I'm not good at what it, you know, you know, the things that they put into your head. And then um, having support and having other people that understand definitely helps you get through those times. Because I think a lot of times, you know, like, I think everybody's like this. When we get hurt, we just want to heal like tomorrow, right? And especially coming out of these relationships, they're so traumatic, we just want to come back out and like, oh, I just want to live my life at, you know, in peace and everything. But it really takes time. And so you have to have like that grace and mercy with yourself that, okay, I, I'm i taking one step today and I'm doing this. And it's knowing that it's not going to um, solve and fix everything, that you are going to um, have to do this over and over again. And it's going to feel very uncomfortable initially, but that just because oh, well, I did this, and so I'm supposed to feel better, and now everything's going to be okay. No, it doesn't work that way. In the beginning, it takes, I mean, it takes a while. Sometimes it takes six months. Sometimes it takes a year. It depends on, you know, how you, if you have to deal with that narcissist um, or if you don't have to deal with them, you know, but everybody's healing time is different. And at the same time, what the what this trauma does is it brings up a lot of your other trauma, you know. So it's like I have to deal with, the triggers that my other trauma came up with and the current trauma. And sometimes you can just feel like you're drowning in triggers and you're just drowning in trauma. 